So our first job for the F-250 now that it has new heads is going to be uh, towing the Ram 2500 down to the frame shop that's going to be rebuilding it or repairing that portion of it. See, these are my new brown front seats. Aren't they nice? I know it's dark, but I like them. This driver's seat is like six-way power, which is just really, really strange to me. I've never had a power seat before, but hey. Wasn't a bad price, and it's a whole lot better than the one that came out. Anyway, see that? It actually starts. Well, we are hooking back up to the exact same trailer and going to be pretty much the exact same load as what killed this truck a few days ago, and we are going to take it down to the frame shop. And we're going to run into a little bit of a hiccup, but I'll talk more about that in just a minute. Uh, we've got the New Holland. It is... I got a little more information on that sale process, and then I'm adding yet another vehicle uh, to the fleet, so. So we're loading the Ram 2500 back up behind the F-250 and we're going to haul it about 60 miles from Cheyenne, Wyoming down to Fort Collins, Colorado. I got a recommendation from a friend of mine that I really, really trust on this stuff. He directed me to a shop down there. I talked to the shop. They said they could do it. Everything would be fine. But I had to get the truck to them by Monday morning. Well, this is your watch. This video was filmed on Sunday night. I left the house around 8:30, I guess it was, and I got to the shop around 9:15, 10:15. Sorry. So a little over an hour to get down there, which isn't. Well, wait a minute. That's a little over. That's an hour and 40. That's almost two hours. Wow, that was worse than I thought. But uh, the F-250 got it down there. It got us home. I couldn't break 60 miles an hour, but it's a small block engine. It's it's doing all it can. But the shop said they could look at this and they would take care of it and it was no problem when I talked to them the previous week. So I carried the truck down there. We're dropping it off right now. And they would call me Monday morning, first thing Monday morning, and tell me they did not want the job. There was a bit of discussion there. I don't know. Yeah, we just won't get into that. But they said they did not want to really get into that. So I made a few more phone calls, got a couple more recommendations. I found one place that said they could do it, but they were going to be about three weeks before they could even start on it. And then I heard back from the friend of mine that recommended the first place. He recommended me another place. So I talked to them. Not only could they do it, they were willing to do it. I explained the entire situation. They were on board. They also had their own tow truck, and I was not going to have to drive 60 miles to pick that thing up and move it like 10 miles and then drive 70 miles back home. So they went over there with their tow truck. They picked it up from the place we're delivering it right now. They took it back to their shop. And as of today, I have not heard from them. As soon as I do hear from them, I'm going to let you guys know. But they're a very well-respected shop in the area. That is the current status of the Dodge. The New Holland is going to sell. It is going to sell at auction. I've had a couple of you guys ask me about that. Yes, it is being auctioned on May the 16th. As of right now, everything on that tractor works to the best of my knowledge. You guys have seen the entire video series on that tractor. You know the history I've had with it. Uh, if you don't and you're considering the purchase of a New Holland TS-115A, go back through all these videos. I'll put a link to a playlist down in the description, but watch every single video I have on that tractor. Uh, it's good, it's solid right now, but honestly, I got the new injectors in it. I ran it for a couple of hours. It was fine. I parked it. I did not start that tractor again until the auction guy was here. And right now, it is still sitting in the same place he parked it when he finished. 
fortunately for me, we haven't had any bad weather. I haven't needed it. A lot of guys are already cutting hay. We're not going to be getting into the hay fields until, oh gosh, we'll be closing in on August before we get our, our one cut per year that we do get. Uh, last year we averaged about 425 pounds of hay per acre for the year and this year so far we've actually been a lot drier than we were last year so I'm I'm not expecting anything really great but Brandon and I have been discussing a little bit our equipment situation because the New Holland is leaving that that does change things some so we're looking at either adding a loader to our 6410 uh, the 6410 for those of you that don't know is our two-wheel drive baler tractor that's pretty much all we use it for i've been using it to feed this winter because the new holland has been down most of the time the new holland will be replaced but because it is selling at auction, I don't know exactly what I'm going to have to work with when it's time to replace it. Uh, it is selling with no reserve and a starting bid of like a hundred bucks. So theoretically, this tractor could sell for as little as a hundred dollars and have to sell. I hope it'll do more than that. Obviously, I hope it'll do a lot more than that because I... I haven't gone back and done the math on what this tractor has cost me so far, but it is north of $30,000. I remember that. I think it was 30 We did do the math in a video on this channel. If I'll see if I can remember to find it, and I'll put a link to it down in the video description on YouTube. But I think I'm ballpark realistically in the neighborhood of maybe 34 to 36,000 on this tractor if it sells for that great uh, if it doesn't sell for that then I'll just have to take what comes but that's going to determine what happens there and then I told you guys I bought another truck yeah you know I'm kind of fond of my $500 vehicles right I've got the $500 Ranger that you have seen I've got a $500 Ford Expedition that you haven't seen. I've got a $500 Ford Explorer that you haven't seen. And, uh, well, I'm adding to the fleet. I added one more. I don't have it here yet. Uh, we needed to get the Dodge sorted, and I've got to get the trailer uh, ready. i got to get the trailer on the F-250, and I've got to go pick that vehicle up up so once i get my hands on it i will i will obviously make a video and tell you guys all about it so that's kind of the rundown on what's going on around here the ram is at a frame shop the new holland ts 115a sells at auction may 16th on auction time so if you're looking for a tractor that's where it is watch every video i've made about that thing know exactly what you're getting into uh -huh. Yeah, and we're going to be dragging home another vehicle here in the very near future. So subscribe if you want to see that stuff. Thanks for watching, and more later.